Hello everyone and welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss another major salivary gland that is the submandibular gland. So watch this video till the end. The submandibular gland is also a paired salivary gland, paired major salivary gland and it is the second largest major salivary gland after the parotid gland. The mandibular gland is a mixed salivary gland. It means it secretes both mucus as well as serous secretions. It means it has both the serous cells and the mucus cells. This gland it is associated with the posterior border of the mylohyoid muscle as you can see in this picture. The submandibular gland, it is present uh, in the posterior part of the floor of the mouth. So this is the submandibular gland and anterior to this gland, sublingual gland is present. The gland is divided into two portions. One is the superficial lobe uh, that is situated in the neck, uh, just superficial to the mylohyoid muscle. And the second part, that's the smaller part, is the deep lobe. And it is present in the floor of the mouth between mylohyoid and the hypoglossus muscle. So the deep lobe is a smaller portion of the submandibular gland. Now, the duct of the submandibular gland. So the name of the duct is not, the, ex, the main excretory duct is also known as the Wharton's duct. So Wharton's duct is another name for the main excretory duct of the submandibular gland. The excretory duct, it starts in the superficial lobe and it runs forward above the mylohyoid muscle. And in the oral cavity, it opens on either side of the lingual frenum. So in the picture, you can see this indicates the lingual frenum. And if you observe on just uh, on the either side of the lingual frenum, there are two openings and these openings, they indicate the opening of the excretory ducts of the submandibular gland on each side. Now the blood and the nerve supply of the submandibular gland. So the blood supply is through the branches of the facial and the lingual arteries. Uh, while the venous drainage is through the submental veins. The parasympathetic supply, so the parasympathetic supply is through the facial nerve. Now the applied anatomy, so this gland, it is located in the posterior part of the floor of the mouth and 80% of the salivary gland calculi or the salivary gland stones, it, they form in the submandibular gland and the duct. Probably it may be because of the location of the gland or because of the anatomy of the duct that most of the salivary glands they form in the submandibular gland uh, followed by the parotid gland. So very few uh, they form in the sublingual. So the salivary gland calculi they are rare in the sublingual glands. Now, the radiotherapy uh, that is applied to the malignant cancers in the head and the neck, they cause uh, damage to the major salivary glands. And as a result, uh, because of the damage to the major, major salivary glands, the salivary production or saliva formation is disturbed. And we call this condition as xerostomia. So this is the end of the short lecture. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please uh, don't forget to give your feedback in the comments and stay blessed. Thank you.